everybody. Uh, I'll be here for mailbag in just another minute, so uh, hold tight. Uh, or if you want, you can start without me. All right, testing sound. I'm heading up to the room right now. You'll see me in just a minute. Let's make sure you can hear me. And uh, happy anniversary, everybody. I guess uh, it's our eight year anniversary, at least according to the letters that we got. I don't time, you know, timey, wimey, wibbly, wobbly. I have no idea. Um, I don't really track these things in general, but some of you do, and uh, my goodness, there's a lot of mailbag today. This may be a two-parter. So, hang on, I'm almost with you. I've been really happy with the amount of mailbag we've had lately, and then you guys go and blow it for our anniversary. Like, this is too much. Too much. 
Not that I'm unappreciative. I, I really do appreciate. Okay, here we go. Into the room. Hi, Sky. Okay, you don't have to get the door for me. I got it. I got it. No, no, here. You stay in here with me. I know that's all you want anyways to be where I'm at. There we go. Okay. Now, let's find... I think uh, you'll be able to see a little better if I close these curtains. Probably. Oh, there's a poop over here I should get. Hang on. These kids are just now starting to catch up to Cuddles kids in the poop department. Which uh, is really, frankly, something I feel like they could have skipped. Just gone straight to the litter box, if you ask me. At least the poops in here seem a little more solid so far, in general. So that's good. We got that going for us. Turn off the air purifier too. It's nice to have, but it's a little noisy with the lawn guys and the air purifier. Hi, buddy. I see you back there. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way too, and I'm going to sit right here in a minute. Sorry, I'm a little behind schedule. Uh, I got up later than I usually do. I picked up the mail yesterday, so I would be able to get up late, but still had a little more to get done this morning than I had anticipated. As usual, I suppose. Nothing strange there. Okay. Oh, oh wow, somebody's opening the mail right now. That's uh, Sky is shredding one of the mails. She's actually shredding it. Wow, did you get that open? Yeah, she got it open a little. I guess she's picked one for us to start with. Oh, here. I'll have to move over, move something so you guys can see me a little better. Hang on. We're going to work this out. And I'll check the cameras and I'll check Discord to make sure you can hear me. And then, then we're going to have a mailbag, people. Promise. Oh, only 10 minutes late. Wow, okay. Um... All right, let's check here. Hi, buddy. I hear you yelling. I know. I don't know what you're yelling for, but you're so tiny, Joyce. Okie dokie. Well, I don't see anybody complaining they can't hear me, so I'm guessing you probably can hear me. Oh, and I do see people responding to things I said, so I think we're good. Oh, there we go. Sound good. Yeah, I had to scroll back a bit for that. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Hi, Meep. Meep. Here, say that into the microphone. What? Well, I guess that was okay. You want to try it again? No? Okay. Fair enough. Um, I got to check the camera angles, too, before we get rolling. Let me just double check here make sure that looks good. Hi, Sky. Yeah, good enough, I suppose. I feel like my pants are riding a little high now that I pulled them up. <laughs> Old man's problems. Uh, hashtag old man problems. All right. Uh, good. All right. I think this is good enough for now. I can zoom in a little bit from the side camera if we feel like we have to later on. Um, but for now, I think we should get started. So uh, news of the week. I don't think there's too much news for this week, actually. Things are just progressing fine. Um, next door, DJ is cleaning the room because um, I said, hey, you know, it's our anniversary mailbag. And I'd really like it if you participated with us or cleaned uh, Cuddle's room. And uh, obviously, uh, she made her choice. So it's good either way. It saves me a lot of trouble. Cuddle's room has been full of poops. The kittens are learning to poop on their own, but they uh, have not quite entirely grasped the litter box. Now, I'm happy to say that over the last few days, uh, more and more of the kitten poops in Sky's, I'm sorry, in Cuddle's room next door are ending up in the litter boxes, in the various litter boxes. So that's good news. And then of course on Monday, I am looking forward to trying to get Cuddles herself to the vet for her first checkup. And then I think it's another week or so before we bring them all in for the, the real first checkup. But I'm bringing her in early because I want to get her sort of cleared um, to meet other cats. So uh, that's going to happen on Monday afternoon. And uh, I really, I, I, I'm going to be very interested to see how it goes because I, she doesn't, 
she's it's not a bad cat when once you like when you get her in the carrier and you take her from place to place like she can be very passive when you are sort of controlling with her you know like if i scruff her and move her around she goes limp like a kitten like she's perfect um but then the minute i set her down somewhere she wants to be like i did not like that and i'm going to hiss and swat at you uh, so it's a real mixed bag, and of course I discussed it with the vet, and I'm going to give her a giant dose of gabapentin a few hours before we leave, which is sort of like what we use for cats to calm them down a lot of times. Um, uh, and I'm I'm skeptical whether that's going to work on her because it's not something that's you know 100%. There's there's plenty of cats that can be real high strung, and you can give them a ton of gabapentin, and they're still going to be uh, you know, the, a little too active, I guess, would be the way to put it. So, so I'm, I'm real excited for Monday to just to, to sort of see what's going to happen and how it's going to go. Uh, we're going to try our best. Uh, the plan, though, is to get her out there to the vet and get her a snap test, uh, which shows that she doesn't have uh, FIV or FELV, which I'm pretty sure she doesn't, but it's a test we've always required of all of our mom cats and haven't had done for her yet. Um, and then while we're at it, I'm probably going to bring in a fecal sample, get some general blood work done if we can, and uh, and see what else we can check out about her and clear. So that is going to be Monday, and uh, that's it. That's I think that's the big news. That's the only big exciting news. Um, again, I would I would really like to see her starting to make friends with these guys, and I, I moved everything out of the way of this little window here so that they can see each other. And they've been looking at each other quite a bit, and neither group seems the least bit bothered by the fact that there's a whole bunch of other kittens and another mom cat right there through the window. Uh, Cuddles doesn't seem to mind, and Sky doesn't, definitely doesn't mind. Sky is just completely, I let Sky out. She goes around the house. She runs into all the faculty. She has no problem with anyone. Um, I think that uh, last time I checked, um, Cal has a little bit of a problem with Sky, where if Cal sees Sky at the door here, she will hiss and swat at the door and growl. Uh, it's kind of uncharacteristic for her, even though we've seen a little bit of that since the spays. Um, so I haven't let uh, Sky encounter Cal yet, but she's encountered Maggie and everybody else, and she's fine. She's unflappable. You know, the kittens will hiss at her, and sometimes she'll hiss at somebody if they get too close. But she's the least upsettable cat that we've had in a while, so uh, she does great. A lot like um, a lot like Cal was for the longest time uh, before we started getting uh, the kids fixed. So, uh, so we'll see. All right, that's that for news. And then, of course, uh, you guys know the big news. All these letters here say that today is our uh, eight-year anniversary of Kitten Academy, and I believe them. So uh, it sounds about right, actually, uh, because we started streaming in 2016, and um, I know, uh, I, I don't want to mythologize, I, I hardly remember it now, you know, I know I've told the story since in a way that uh, I, I would believe, so if you want to know for sure how everything went, go back a few years and listen to me talk about it on our anniversary um, but uh, I guess um, the, the way that I remember it now is that we had Hazel, um, our first pregnant mom cat ever, and uh, she was going to deliver her kittens, and we decided to put it on the streamer. She already had delivered, and she already had delivered her kittens, and I wanted to monitor them, I think it was, and I put the camera in her room so that we could keep an eye on her like a baby monitor. And then the next day I thought, you know, we could put this on YouTube, why not? And the rest just happened. So that was that. Uh, When it came to Hazel's kittens, I do remember that uh, we got up in the morning and went down to see her that day, and she delivered six out of her seven kittens already. And we just had no idea that it was coming or, you know, what to expect or anything at that point. And then after a little while, she delivered the seventh kitten. And, uh, well, again, the rest is uh, history, so... If you want a better picture of it, I think uh, people's memories are so fallible in general. They've done studies that show that like, even immediately after something happens that you, you don't remember it correctly and uh, confabulate details very easily. So I wouldn't trust myself to get any of the details right now, but I think if you went back a few years, you'd find something that was a little bit more accurate. So there you go. Uh, all right. Well, with all that out of the way, I think we should start opening letters. What do you think? Maybe I should check the chat and find out. Hi, I see you talking to me in there. 
there's a kitten here in this cheese saying things at me and looking very suspicious. It's Rafter. Hi, Rafter. Hi, you can come over here and sit in my lap too. That's okay with me. All right. Let me check the camera real quick and see how much room there might be for me to zoom in where I'm sitting. Or if I have to move, maybe I should move in front of the creepy mouse and then you don't have to look at him, but then I'm blocking the other camera. All right, can't have that. And there's not much room for me to zoom in from here. Uh, so we'll just roll with that for now. Let's just, uh, let's just get it going and then we'll see what happens. This may be a two-parter anyway, like I said. So let's start with some letters. This one says, for anniversary, April 20th. That uh, must be today. Is today actually the 20th? It is actually the 20th. There you go. Oh, this is so pretty. It says, you're eight today. And it has a beautiful rainbow. The, the number eight is made of a beautiful rainbow. Uh, and uh, a unicorn sitting on the rainbow. And then there's been some cat stickers added on top to make it extra special. It's so pretty. I really like it. Uh, we've got more cat stickers and more rainbow and more unicorn inside. Also, this card has been signed with teeth by Apollo. And it says Starbuck rubbed on the card. Dear Chris and DJ, congratulations and thanks for eight years. Aw, hope your special day will be as special as you are. Happy eighth stream anniversary of YouTube and Periscope streaming. I enjoy being part of this community. Love from Mary, who is Mez, M-E-Z, on Discord. Mez, thank you so much. That's really sweet. What a pretty card, too. Thank you for that. Yeah, I guess uh, eight years. Who knew? Who could have predicted we would go this long? I, you know, I really wouldn't have predicted we'd go this long because DJ was supposed to be a doctor uh, two years ago now. Um, and uh, she's still got one more year now of her fellowship and a chance that there'll be one more year after that, another one year long fellowship, uh, which we haven't entirely decided on yet. So if anybody had asked me, I would have predicted that, you know, DJ would be uh, doctoring and we would be someplace else and who knows if we'd be doing the stream uh, two years ago. So we're a bit overdue in that sense. Uh, but you know, I think uh, I think our extended stay has been welcome. I've been enjoying it anyway. All right, buddy. I know I saw you had a little bit of a poopy butt. I don't know if that means you're still got a poop to go or if that was the end of it that we caught. I guess uh, I guess we'll see. Okay, put that back here. I don't want these kids to climb in my coffee. They have no idea yet. Put it back up here. I don't think they've been up here yet. Although these guys are good climbers, especially Rafter, I noticed. Um, this isn't Rafter, but this guy does have some poop on his paw. And this one's Rafter. Rafter, I've noticed, is already a good climber. Of course, all four of them have climbed all the way up onto the beanbag chair to sit in my lap, which is just a wonderful thing on every level. It's nice that they want to be in my lap. It's nice that they can climb the beanbag. Okay, this says hazmat. Whoa. Uh, it's a bit of a thick letter. My guess is that it's one of those cards that has a battery in it. It's going to make some fun noises. That's why the hazmat label, right? Let's find out. Either that or it's full of dangerous acid, like in RoboCop. <laughs> Let's find out. I don't know why RoboCop was my go-to for that. Especially with Master Splinter sitting right here. I think uh, Chris had said something about uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and this rat. Okay, uh, so let's see. Oh, I had some instructions out here. It says, um, okay, to, uh, card first, then letter. Card first, then letter. Okay, so this is the letter. We'll do the card first. Don't let me forget to come back to that. This is so cute. This is no batteries at all. I don't know what the hazardous materials are. I'm starting to get worried. Hi. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This is so sweet. Look, it's got, um, it's tied up with this cute little piece of string. And it says, Skylight, you're so special. And it's got her picture here and it's cut out with a little picture frame and everything. How cute is that? Let's, uh, let's see. Can I untie this or can I just slide it off maybe? Uh, <laughs> we're trying. We're trying, folks. You, uh, it's double knotted, so I'm not going to be able to just slide it. I mean, not going to be able to untie it very easily. But let's try sliding it off of here. 
There we go. Skylight, you are so special. You just Oh, it does have a song. You deserve your own theme song. Wow, look how cool this is. The custom made, uh, I guess, singing card. So we're going to check that out in just a second. Open it up inside. It's got this really cute singing and dancing cat. You deserve your own theme song. Here's the picture of Sky turns out to be a television once you open it up. I like that. And then down here it says, press the button, Max. <laughs> Hang on, let's see if we can get it to start closer to the mic uh, so that you guys can hear it, okay? Because this is good. This is a good song. I love Skylight. She's the highlight of Kitten Academy. I love Skylight. She is just right at Kitten Academy. She's the best in every way. She will brighten up your day. I love Skylight. She's the highlight of Kitten Academy. Alcove Raptor will cause laughter as they start to explore. Joyce and Gable, they are able to give you purrs by the score. Mm. Skyscrapers will rise up high with a love you can't deny. They're with Skylight and she is the highlight of Kitten Academy. That's fantastic. I have no idea how that was done. I guess there must be something that they make to do that with. What a beautiful, I mean, that recording is fantastic quality. And the singing is fantastic quality. And the, the words are also, that was very fun. Uh, thank you. Let's see what this has to say about it. It says, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats. I hope you guys could hear that, by the way. Kittens of all ages and the friends at Kitten Academy. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, this letter. I'm going to assume you pressed the button on the card. Thank you for trusting that I wasn't going to start screaming an ancient Babylonian chant that would summon demons to spring forth from your coffee mug or manifest Beetlejuice into your home. Uh, yeah, I just recently rewatched The Evil Dead, and uh, why? Why do people read these things out loud? Just read it in your head. Um, <laughs> once again, I had a song in my heart that I just had to share. I know I'm not going to win any awards for singing, but I and I know it could use some musical accompaniment. Accompaniment. Uh, build up. Build. All right, uh, but perfection is the enemy of the good enough. Oh man, story of my life. If I waited until I was able to find a real singer and hire a band and for everything to be perfect, Skylight and her kittens would be adopted out. It would be time for the next eclipse. And besides, there is no perfection this side of heaven, albeit Kitten Academy comes pretty darn close. If anyone wants to have fun uh, when, and with the song and record their own version of it, <coughs> Ruby Sunrise, they are more than welcome to it. I know you hear this a lot, but thank you for taking care of all these lovely kittens and cats and for sharing theirs and your life with us. One thing I'm trying to do more now, and sometimes it's hard, is, not, is to not hide my light under a bushel basket, uh, but instead put myself out there and share the light, even though at times it's not all that bright and sadly, some people out there just really like the dark. You truly are an inspiration of the good that can happen by sharing good things, like kittens, and you in a tiger onesie. I'm so in love with both the skyscrapers and the snugglers. It looks like there could be a lot of floofs, and I have a thing for floofs. Also, there seems to be some plushies, short hairs with extra soft fur. Please give them all a snorgle for me. Plushies a good term. I think that that's exactly what I would describe Skylight uh, uh, as. So... I'm so in love with both the skyscrapers and the snugglers. It looks like there could be a... Oh, wait, I just read that part. Um, well, I'll send this out and save any more jibber-jabber for the next letter I send out whenever. Until then, I wish you all the best. Hugs and kisses, purrs and hisses, but only cute baby hisses from Andrea and Mojo. Or maybe it's Andrea and Moho. Uh, I think it's Andrea and, uh, and Mojo. Those are cute names, both of them. And uh, that's just that's wonderful. It's heartwarming. This this card is something that I will treasure literally forever. You know, I keep all the cards and letters that people send for someday. Um, and this is going to be um, as special when I find it, you know, 10 years from now as it is today. It's just wonderful. Uh, if the battery doesn't last, don't worry. I can hack stuff. <laughs> How cool. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let me set that over here. I have to get up for just a second because, as you can see, uh, Skylight just used the litter box, and there are 
some smells in here. Maybe turning off that air purifier was a mistake. Uh, oh, I wondered what she was doing over here. It looks like she tried to use the little kid litter box. And uh, I don't know if you've heard me mention about her, but she tends to kind of go outside the box a little bit. Um, she doesn't, I, I shouldn't say go outside the box because that's not really her deal, but she does kind of hang right at the edge. And uh, her adopter's going to need to give her a covered litter box. Um, if you give her a covered box, I'm sure she's going to be fine. These have high walls, and she's fine with that, but instead of using her high-walled litter box, she just used the little kid's litter box, and that one is not going to cover for her quite as well. So then she messed up the rug and everything else, trying to cover it up, and it's going to continue to smell bad over there for a while. That's fine. We'll clean that up next. Her room is, is nothing compared to Cuddles next door. Uh, so no worries there. We got you, Sky. You're fine. All right, uh, let's see, what is next? Let's put these cards together right here. I think there are more card-like objects here. This one says, do not bend. I don't, uh, I stand firm all the time. And we've got a beautiful little stamp of a uh, calico bobtail kitten on the front of the card. How cool is that? Um, let me just see if I can get you guys an even better view of these things or how we're doing for that. Well, I like seeing the whole room too, though. Yeah, that's not that's not going to be worth zooming in. Uh, here, there's another picture of it on the back, though. Uh, maybe this one's better contrast, actually. Let's see, I'll put it right up there where you guys can maybe see it. So cool! It's basically a stamp that is um, Cal from the Timey Wimeys. It looks exactly like her. It's got her tail. It's got her colors. Uh, very cool. I'm confused about how to open this because it's taped shut from every angle, so... Uh, I should probably put some scissors in this box. Why haven't I done that before? Because that would be the right tool for this little project. Oh! Hey! Whoa! What is this? Somebody sent scissors and I forgot all about them. Look at that. They're tiger scissors. Okay. That's the second time I've been in this room and I swear the light just got brighter. That happened to me last night in here, too. Something must be up with that. Hmm. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, well, so let's see. We've got some tissue, something wrapped in tissue, and we have a little card here. The card has a, a drawing of our logo on it. It says Kitten Academy, okay to read on mailbag. And again with the stamp, and then it's been painted with little confetti and streamers. This is the last time this will ever happen. All for humans, nothing for kitties. Sorry. Oh, that's cute. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to start on this. It says, we joke about renting a jet to come to Connecticut to adopt Cal all the way, oh, to adopt Cali, calendar, all the way from California. Love her. This stamp is from when Sunday, a part Japanese bobtail mix that we will never forget was the center of our lives. Oh, that sounds just like her. Um, Sunny... Okay, I guess these are the the names: Sunny Bamoni, Rabby, Rabbit, Bun Bun. Oh, we miss you. Okay, and then in here, sorry, there's so many smells in this room. I think you're gonna need another white pal. We have a cactus uh, made of cats, so a cat kiss, I guess. There we go. And the card <clears throat> says. Hello everyone at KA. Congratulations on eight years of streaming. We watch every day and love the work you do and the fun that we enjoy seeing pregnant cats get a safe, clean, loving place to give birth for the last time is pure joy. Uh, the sock, oh, I didn't open the present yet. Okay, the sock is from Meow Wolf in, uh, help, <laughs> in Las Vegas. Uh, Omega Mart, Area 15, an amazing interactive art experience that you should check out. The patch is for DJ, as we understand she likes aviation, Top Gun, etc. And this is Marine Attack Squadron 311, the Tomcats. Oh man, that sounds so cool. Yeah, DJ, um, now, you know, little boys grow up and you, as a little boy you have to, to learn a certain amount about airplanes. Whether you like it or not, it's just one of those things like dinosaurs that all little boys... Uh, have a passing interest in at the minimum 
I always thought that I was probably more interested in planes than the average little boy. Yet, uh, recently, DJ is watching these shows on YouTube, and she identifies these planes, and I'm like, I have no idea what that is. And she knows stuff. Like, if I want to know what uh, any of the, the acronyms are that they're using on these YouTube shows, I can ask her, and she knows what everything is, and I just have no idea. So... Um, I'm super impressed. She, she really does love all that stuff. Uh, and I've been enjoying watching this stuff, but I just I haven't absorbed it that same way. Uh, let's see. We have three rescue kitties. Mario is a playful tuxie around 13 years. Rue is a blue-eyed silver point. And Ophelia, a house panther, uh, eight and ten year old. My husband wants me to write all about how we got each one, but those stories have to be saved for another day when I can really ramble. I enjoy the Kitten Academy group on Facebook and want to join your Discord, but there are not enough hours in the day as I'm also following Kitten Lady, Tiny Kittens, Jackson Galaxy, the Dull Woman's Cat group, and any cat I see anywhere. <laughs> I like that. I also follow any cat I see anywhere. That's so cute. Uh, you didn't leave much room for your signature, though, which is the uh, Peels, I think. is uh, You signed your last name, the Peels. P I mean, that's how I'm going to say it, uh, P-I-E-H-L-S. Uh, yeah, the, the Kitten Academy group on Facebook is fantastic. I'm so glad that people are doing that. Uh, I That's not you know something I have any involvement in, but I just love um, all the folks that have sort of stepped up and gotten involved in various ways uh, to help get the word out about us. And then, of course, Kitten Lady, Tiny Kittens, and Jackson Galaxy are all classics. I have to say, the Dull Women's Cat group I'm not familiar with, but I like the name. That's, uh, that's adorable. So, um, thank you so much for the wonderful card. That stamp is really cool. And then wrapped up here, I can guess that we are going to have a patch. Oh, oh, how cool. It is a, like a cat on a missile. Tomcats, VMA 311. He's also got something in his hand, but I can't quite make out what it should be. Hmm, hard to say. Uh, very cute. That might look great on one of DJ's uh, medical jackets. I don't know. And then we have the socks are... Lost sock. It's one sock. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. People are so clever. It's one sock, and it is a cat that's got one eye closed, uh, which is also a sign that's been a little bit too familiar lately, but uh, super appropriate for us right now. I love it. And the stripes are fantastic. What a great sock. I love that they sell a single sock. I don't have to worry about whether I'm going to uh, wear it matched or not. Uh, that choice has been made. Uh, also, this is very cute. Okay. Thank you so much. The peels, I think. Uh, that's very sweet. If you did come from California to adopt a cat, you wouldn't be the first. So, something to think about. Uh, no pressure. You, Everybody uh, that adopts a cat knows when the time is right for them and when the cat is right for them. So, that's our philosophy. Until then, the cats can stay here as long as they need uh, I have heard that it's not, um, that uh, sort of, I think universally, um, there's there's sort of a backlog of cats that need to be adopted. So it's not just us, and uh, that's fine. You know, uh, like I said, they can stay here as long as they want. So here we have this uh, eight-year anniversary post. It's got a group of little kitties on the front, and um, they say, Hi, K.A. Rocks, as you can see. There we go. I'll try to show that to you. And then I think, actually, I just put those scissors away, but I think we can use them again right here. I should probably open one of the boxes next so that we have a place to start putting things. Let's find out what we've got here. All right. A burlap sack. Well, that's not burlap. That's close to burlap. Mr. A and Dr. DJ. All right, let's start here with a letter opener. Hi, Sky. What are you thinking? <laughs> oh, cute. Let me move this out of the way so you can see them playing a little better, hopefully.
Uh, I'm working on it, folks. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to tear into this. All right. This says, you're the cat's pajamas. Oh, that's so sweet. That's a phrase that's been on my mind a little bit since we've got a cat named Pajama. Uh, pajamas. It's got a little black kitty saying that with its uh, tail curved into the shape of a heart. And then inside, oh, inside it's blank, but we have an okay to read on stream note, which is perfection. And it says, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, you are both indeed the cat's pajamas and even their slippers and robes too. This card is to celebrate the occasion when eight years ago the KA live stream began. I love watching KA every day as it brings me such joy seeing the feline residents and their humans too. It's a place where love and compassion are bountiful. Personally, for me, I found KA in early 2021 when the world was in a very strange place. Watching KA gave me a sense of comfort and positivity that was much needed. I remember one of the first times I watched K.A. and I fell in love with Flower and her bready bunch. I had never seen kittens in such close quarters before and found them to be super adorable. I also recall his disembodied voice narrating their antics and I thought, he sounds like fun. And you've lived up to my expectations ever since. You in a tiger onesie with Holiday is case in point. Fast forward to three years later and I'm still committed to watching K.A. regularly for the cats and kittens and for yourself and DJ, who I've become quite fond of. Uh, tricky becoming fond of, of DJ with as often as she actually appears on stream, uh, but I'm fond of her too, so I can understand that. Aside from my story, this card is about expressing my appreciation for all that you and DJ do for the cats and kittens of K.A., your time, energy, and dedication to running this busy academy is truly awesome. I don't know how you both balance working, caring, YouTubing, and so much more, but I'm glad on behalf of the cats that you do. I would like to take the opportunity to say a heartfelt thank you to the incredible Discord community. Their kindness and good humor make my days brighter, and it's a joy to be part of such a friendly space. And to the mods who work tirelessly behind the scenes, thank you for all that you do. You truly are the best. With much love and spoogles to all at KA, Abby from West Sussex. Uh, that's at Abby, A-B-B-I-E on Discord. P.S. Please find and close some treats for the kitties. Abby, thank you so much for that. And thank you for taking uh, the opportunity to sort of make a, a shout out to everybody on Discord, including the mods. I think that's wonderful. Um, it, it really is a fantastic thing. You know, these days I tend to watch YouTube, uh, like the, the uh, airplane YouTubes with DJ, and everybody has a Discord these days. Uh, they're just, everybody has one, and everybody's like, oh, join our Discord, join our Discord. Um, and uh, it's, I, I just, I think ours is, is special nonetheless, uh, even though they are now such a common thing. So uh, I'm glad that you also appreciate it. All right, let's see here. Oh, and as promised, we have a bag full of kitty treats. We have Dreamy's Mix and Catnip Chicken Cheddar Flavor Bonkers. Well, Dreamy's we know. That's uh, been one of Ari's favorites for a long time. And uh, also all the cats here. Dreamy's are just a big hit with everybody. And then we have something that appears to be sort of like a Dreamy's called Bonkers, which is uh, Feed the Weird. <laughs> it's got a weird little picture of a cat on it. Uh, I think that's a new one on us. Doesn't seem familiar to me, so very cute. Oh, knock it down, bud. All right. So thank you for the treats. I'm actually going to put those in here, and we can hand those out in due time. Uh, I would put them in the drawer, but I'm not going to actually get up yet, so I'll put them in there after I get up. Thank you so much for writing to us. All right. Uh, I said I was going to open a box next, and in fact, there's a giant Amazon dropship box right in front of me. So why don't we do this one? It feels like maybe there's some room in here for us to use. Maybe. Outside, it just says Kitten Academy on it, so no clue. Oh, but now there's every clue. It's full of ball towers, and I think we know what that means. Here we go. 
Kittens, I know, I'm making a lot of noise in your... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm making a lot of noise in your room. But that's why we're doing it. You guys got to get used to this kind of stuff. I think you're dealing with it pretty well so far. There's some wrestling going on in the mouse, and these two are just kind of running around. So, uh, lots and lots of ball towers and springs. Yes, a dead giveaway, but where is the note? It says this is from Tahini and Flair. Here we go. It's got to be this. Ball towers and springs. And it says, Dear Skyscrapers, we hope you enjoy some of our favorite toys. Love, Tahini and Flair. Well, there you go. That's for Sky and the kids. And it is, uh, as always, the ball towers, always a hit. Um, they've got one over there to get them started on. And also uh, little bags of springs, which are also always a hit. These kids are just now kind of starting to play with things and uh, still having a little trouble tracking them. But um, these are these are lessons that take some time. You know, why, why else go to an academy unless you've got some stuff to learn? Hi, what? What did you say? Who said that? You wrestlers? You wrestlers wrestling? A little too hard, huh? All right. Thank you so much, Tahini and Flair. You've been sending those for all of the Kitten Academy graduates for a very long time. And I think they all must appreciate it. What's a cat without a ball tower? I think all cats at least need to have one around to, to try out. Um, this is a... It's described as a donut cuddler, but I think what it means is that it is a marshmallow bed. Uh, the big one, 60 centimeters. Was there a note to say who it's from? Dear Skylight, we're so happy you were chosen to be part of Kitten Academy. We love watching your skyscrapers grow. Love, Tahini and Flair once again. I smelled something that smelled like um, maybe uh, patchouli or something, but it was probably not from here then. It did not seem to... Did it? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's coming out of this bag somehow, but there's nothing else in there. And it is a sort of a distinctive patchouli scent. That's interesting. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's perfect. I need to write Skylight on this so that we don't lose track of whose it is as we do endowments. Uh, have I got anything to write with, though? I don't, I don't think I do this time. Oh, my goodness. This happens every time, and I look and look. Oh, there it is. Yes, yeah, see, this is, this is how it works every time. There it is. Okay. We're going to write Skylight on here just to be sure. Perfection. Uh, Tahini, Flair, thank you once again. We're going to put this right in the box. Excellent. Hey, it's okay, little buddy. You want to hang out? You can sit right here in my lap. It's always good in my lap, all right? Think about that. Sit right there. Okay. Hi. Hi. You too, you can come over here. Let's see, you clean? Good, sit right here after. There you go. That's what you're after. <laughs> That's what you're after. Uh, uh, fragile, do not bend artwork. Okay, fresh cut paper. Hmm. Well, let's see what this is all about. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, it says life-size pop-up flower bouquet. That sounds cool. Is there anything here to tell us who it's from? Well, not exactly. There is a name on there um, that is... Uh, let's just see if there's anything else to it, though. I don't know if they're going to... Actually, I guess not, because this is sealed. So we're going to say thank you to Kathy. Uh, it seems like a name whose nickname I should know, uh, but I'm, I'm not good at associating those things necessarily so Kathy let's check this out oh oh this is so pretty hang on now it is really like a pop-up flower bouquet what a great idea and there is a card here after all oh here we go congratulations on eight years of Kitten Academy the best place where kittens learn to be cats thank you for letting us be part of your family also for sharing our stories Millet and Sydney. There you go, Millet and Sydney. I did not expect there to be a printed card inside that sealed envelope. Uh, how cool. Okay, so there's instructions here. One, open below. Okay, let's try that. Oh, it, it, we're trying. There we go. Open below. That must be it. Push to open. Okay, let's do that. Push right there. Pull to close. Oh, you can undo it, huh? 
and then fold up. Oh, I guess I have to fold it in three. Pinch here. Uh, pinch here. Okay. They're complicated right here. Pinch here. Okay. I see that that is a thing, but I can't quite see how it's supposed to come together. So let's try this. Ah, that's how it's supposed to. Oh, oh, just like that. Okay, I see. Pinch harder. Okay. There we go. Look at that. That's so pretty. Is this going to... There we go. Now it's going to stay. Wow. It's really like a little tiny uh, uh, vase of flowers. Oh, oh hang on. No. i got to make sure this stays. It wants to undo. There we go. That's beautiful, and I can imagine the cats are going to have a lot of fun chomping on that. These kids are a little small to be chomping on it, um, but they could try if they wanted to. I wouldn't begrudge them that. What a cool thing. That's a, that's really a neat way to do flowers by mail. Uh, fresh cut paper, huh? What a great idea. Okay, your card's going to stay right here. The rest of this can go in here. Sorbet roses, it says. All right. It's very pretty. Hey, bud. Hi, buds. Hi. Oh, what are you looking at? Okay. All right. Well, hey, let's keep rolling. Maybe we can do all a mailbag in a day. I don't know. Maybe not, though. I think, uh, oh, it's 10 minutes till. Yeah, we should probably do this in two parts, right? I feel like we should. Uh, that way we can spread it out and enjoy it a little bit more, too. And that way I don't have to leave DJ to do all the hard work by herself. That's just rude. I did not expect it to, to be such a big project for her. I just thought maybe she'd go in there and pick up a couple things. But uh, it seems like she may still even be working on it. I hear the door opening and closing. Oh, this is an interesting thing. It's a, a, clearly some kind of bed, but it's also clearly uh, some kind of bed that I've never seen before. It says, Cuddles and Crew. All right, so this is for our next door neighbors. You knew this was coming sooner or later. Hmm, from Joe and Halfers. Joe and Halfers. All right, let's see here. What did we know was coming sooner or later for Cuddles and crew? I'm probably going to see it and be like, oh, of course. But right now, this does not look familiar to me. And I'm familiar with an awful lot of cat beds. <laughs> I see. It's going to be some kind of a thing. Made the world enjoy easy pet life. I like that. What is it? Is it? It's a thing. It looks like it's got to be some kind of a thing. What kind of a thing is it? Why haven't I figured it out yet? Hmm. I still haven't figured it out, and I'm looking at it now. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Look, it's got a tail. And it's got like a pointy end here. Oh, it's a leaf. It's just a leaf. It's just a leaf. That's what it is. It's a leaf. Okay, I see. I see now. This is a... Look, you can see it from here. Like, this is the little stem part, and this is the, the leaf part, right? That's got to be what it is. That's very... It's pretty. It is pretty. Um, I feel like, though... I feel like I don't get it, though. Do I get it? Why do I feel like I don't get it? Um... For cuddles and crew. Okay, well, I'll, I'll have to think about it. Maybe I just need more coffee uh, to figure out why it's a leaf. But it's very pretty, and it's a nice little bed. And it's made out of this uh, woven cotton that I like. You don't see that too often in cat beds, but this is definitely going to survive a washing, no problem. Uh, and for, um, for cuddles and her crew... I think surviving a washing um, is going to be very important for their beds for a while, considering what I was saying about uh, how poopy they can tend to be. So I want to put this right back in the bag before it's been too exposed in here. I've been trying real hard to keep the, the sort of URI and I um, goobers that these guys have from spreading to cuddles. And so far, uh, knock on wood, I haven't seen any serious symptoms from them, although there has been a little bit of sneezing, and I suspect that, you know, that's just, it's just inevitable to some degree. And, but we'll see. So, all right. Uh, let's see. That can't go in there, but it can go in here. So thank you very much, Joe and Halfers. I, I really appreciate that, and I think that she will too, and, and maybe I'll even figure out uh, why it's a leaf. I really got to think about that. Maybe somebody on Discord's already said. Maybe you've already said. Let's see. 
Oh, oh, see, I am dumb. Everybody's like, yeah, uh, the kittens were born in a bag of leaves. Yes, of course they were. <sighs> I'll tell you, I'm just not too bright, um, but um, that's fine. I, I cope. I manage. Uh, thanks to all of you for covering me. <laughs> In that sense, yes, yes, that is the, the story of Sky. That's exactly what happened, was that she had her kittens in a leaf bag in someone's garage where I actually went and got them myself. That's the first and only time that I've ever done that, uh, gone to sort of rescue or capture a cat. Um, but uh, it worked out. It's it's really worked out really well so far. And I know uh, when I went, um, you know, I, even before I went, the very first thing I asked was, you know, like, how how is she? Is she going to be friendly? Because I was thinking, how are we going to bring her in here if she's just a wild, feral cat? Um and they had told me that she likes to rub on people's ankles, but you cannot touch her. And I can see how they got that impression, because she does love to rub up on me. And if you touch her, you gotta, you got to do it just the way she likes. Otherwise, she's going to hiss and smack you. But it turns out she really loves to be petted, like she wants to be petted so much. So, uh, real sweet. But yes, yeah, she had her kittens, all four of them, in a leaf bag, and then... Um, the, the people whose house she was at were, were trying to sort of catch them and uh, send them to a shelter so that they could be cared for properly. And they got three of the kittens and she grabbed uh, hot chocolate and took off and hid further back in their garage. And that's the situation when I arrived. So uh, I, I don't know why that didn't occur to me. That just makes too much sense. So there we have it. Okay, uh, let's see here. Well, let's, one, two, three, four big ones, uh, one, and then we've got four little ones and a couple mediums here, and it's already almost time. Of course, I started 10 minutes late, but I think if we're going to have to push it to tomorrow, and we're probably gonna, it's nice to save a few things for that too, isn't it? Make it just as entertaining. All right, this isn't addressed to anybody, but it is another marshmallow bed. Yes, and it is, okay, just as suspected. Here it is. It's another marshmallow bed, the same size, but this one a lovely purple. And this one is Dear Cuddles. Wow, these guys are really starting to wrestle to the point of yelling at each other. Did you hear that? I don't know if the mic picked it up, but Little Rafter was just yelling because uh, our boy here, Gabe, was all over her. Biting. Yeah, are you learning to bite? Mwah. Okay, that's good. Dear Cuddles, we're so happy you've decided to stay at the Academy along with your snugglers. Love, Tahini and Flair. Once again, Tahini and Flair, thank you so much. I'm going to label that for Cuddles so we know whose is whomst. Okay, Cuddles. These are great. Marshmallow beds are great. Uh, I think we, we go through so many of them here at the Academy. They're one of my favorite things to send. Um, you know, we always like to send something that's been used around here and has the smell. Um, I like to send them with adopters. And uh, also, everybody here seems to like them quite a bit. They, get, they all get used, which is nice. So, great little thing. Uh, it's funny. We have a cat here named Marshmallow now. So, that's going to be an interesting thing. All right, let's do one more. Should we do one more, a couple more? Let's do a couple more. I'm not trying to rush you guys. It's fine. And uh, I always feel a little bad when we have to do two days because people send things and then they want to watch and see their thing opened. Um, and then, you know, some of them don't plan on having time available on Sunday to do that. But I feel a little less bad now, thanks to our amazing uh, team of volunteers. I think, uh, I'm just guessing, it's probably Will, but somebody gets these mailbags recorded on their own and uploaded right away, uh, faster than I ever did, and I think that's wonderful. So I think that takes a little bit of the pressure off because people that do send something can find it right away, um, even if they didn't get to watch it live, which is great. Now, I think all of you know what this is and who it's from. I, I'm guessing we know what it is, but you can tell from the stickers they are those little... Uh, Kleban uh, artist uh, stickers, his little Hawaiian cats that he does. Um, what's his first name? I think it's Bill. Uh, I don't know why I'm going with Bill, but that's what I'm going to go with. So, those are a distinctive feature that have always been part of these packages from Beans and Cheeto. 
بدهیم And we have a note. That's a good place to start. I'm guessing we got some laser pointers in here too. Oh, indeed we do. Indeed we do. Hang on now. Oh, one more. Okay, to read online. Perfection. I like to hear that. You know, um, that's the default position, but it's still nice to know for sure. So, here we go. It says, today is a really good mailbag day, and it's got a little picture of a smiling mailbox wearing a party hat. How cool is that? Hello, Kitten Academy. What an eventful march. I'll say two mom cats and their adorable babies have filled the academy to the brim with cuteness. Yeah, and poops, I would say. Uh, I can hardly wait until both classes are running around playing and pouncing and learning how to be cats. I think that's now. You just bit my finger twice. You're in a bitey mood, aren't you? You learn to bite things, and it's fun, isn't it? Um, both classes also look awful floofy, especially Alcove. Yes, indeed. So it will be fun to see how poofy they become. Enclosed are the usual endowments. Thanks for all you do for the kitties. From Lisa G, Cheeto, and Beans. All right, Lisa G, Cheeto, and Beans. Let's see what we got here. The usual endowments. Oh, I see. I thought this was just going to be one class, but you did both. So, as always, Lisa G, Cheeto, and Beans have been sending laser pointers for the kittens, which I think, by the way, is a fantastic cat toy. And uh, you can see the automated ones that we tend to use, um, both in the bedroom and one downstairs, because Cal is a huge fan of chasing the laser. Um, they, they get a lot of attention from everybody, actually. I'm surprised that the automated ones are working so well for us lately. Uh, but these are, these are just a fantastic, low-effort way to play with a cat. <laughs> so this, uh, the other thing I like about the way that Lisa does this is that they all have baby pictures of the kittens on them. So this one is for Alcove, if you can see that. This is for Gable. Skylight, this one's yours. Rafter, and of course, Teeny Tiny Joist. And then we have another set right here for, hang on, Hot Chocolate. There we go. And Cashmere. And Cuddles. And Pajamas. And Marshmallow. Those are wonderful. And again, I think these are just a fantastic thing to have uh, for a cat um, and, and wonderful for the adopters. It's always good. Thank you so much for sending those. It's, it's wonderful of you to do that for every class for such a long time. Uh, I'm going to put these in the same box here with these endowments. Since they're sort of all labeled, I like that too. That's wonderful. I always say this, but I think it's so fun that you put their little baby pictures on there because they don't look like that quite by the time they go home. And it's got to be fun for their adopters to see that, I think. It would be fun for me. Um, I remember uh, Elsie, uh, our dog, was three years old, I think, when we got her, something the better part of three years old. And uh, she was retired, actually, from um, agility. Uh, the, her trainer had done dog agility, uh, with golden retrievers, which is a little bit unusual. Uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but they had sent with her a book of like her little baby photos of her and her entire class uh, when they were just little tiny babies. And it meant so much to me at the time. You know, it was way before Kitten Academy. And I just remember that having that baby photo of her was so special. Uh, I know we still have it somewhere too. So... I imagine that it's like that for uh, the Kitten Academy adopters with those little laser pointers and their baby photos, but even more so, obviously, with all the videos on YouTube and all the GIFs. Uh, so, fantastic. Uh, let's, let's do another. Let's just do one more, and then we'll save the rest for tomorrow at 11. Don't forget, when we do this on Sunday, we do it at 11. Um, and I'm just going to take whichever one is closest here, which seems to me this thing which is a very solid little package. I think something is vacuum sealed in here from DJ. All right, the other DJ, not our DJ. Let's see here. Diane DJ, we'll say. 
how to open this. Let's find out. So on the outside, it says it's from DJ, Diane DJ, but I don't know if that means we're going to have a note or not. Let's take a look and see. And in fact, there is something vacuum sealed in here. As you can see, oh, but it looks like it's sealed inside a, yet another package, so we can't see what it is at all. And there is no note. All right, so it's a mystery. Good. Well, we're going to puncture this, and it's going to inflate like one of those uh, airline uh, escape <laughs> slides, I bet. Oh. I think I mentioned before that DJ likes to watch the 74 Gear YouTube channel, but there's another one that we've been just binge watching lately um, called Mentor Pilot, uh, M E N T O U R on YouTube Pilot. And uh, he is, I believe, Swedish and, uh, and a pilot, a training pilot, and he talks, uh, he's got a a playlist that is him explaining all sorts of aviation accidents and disasters that is fascinating, uh, just fascinating. And I really like his approach to it, too. First off, he tells a great story. Like, he, he tells it in a way that gets you hooked and you want to know. And he's constantly doing this thing where he's like, now, now hang on to that. That's going to be important later. Uh, which really helps build the suspense when he's talking about him. I think he just does a great job of that. Um, but I also like the fact that it's never, it's never about laying blame on somebody. It's always just about finding what went wrong, you know, uh, which I think is a fantastic way to look at, oh, now it's starting to inflate. Hi. I, I believe it's some kind of a cat bed. This is for custard? Oh, from DJ. Okay, cool. Thank you. So uh, DJ apparently told DJ that this cat bed is for custard, and I can tell, I look at I can see one square inch of it, and I know what it is. It's a replacement bear bed, right? I don't know. I'll bet you a dollar it's another one of those bear beds, which is great. Uh, the original bear bed we had to take away and wash because someone had peed in it. I can't imagine who would do that. But it got washed, and it's back out, and it's, I think it's doing okay. Uh, on the other hand, Custard is currently in his room, the rainbow room, and uh, when he's in there, he just tends to sit on the rainbow marshmallow pad or on the bed. So if he likes the bear, and this is a bear, and maybe it's not. I, I'm not disappointed if it's not. I'm just like trying to guess, you know. I'm trying to open this without cutting the bed in any way. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, looking familiar-ish. Hang on now. Wow, they, you know, this is shipped obviously from overseas, and so they vacuum pack these to take the least amount of space possible for better shipping. And it's, it's fun actually to see these things inflate when you take them out. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while to become fully inflated though. Yes, indeed, look at that. Oh, wow, that's a big one. Yeah, I think it might be the same size as the original. He, it has a little bit of uh, expanding to do, though. The, the first one that we got was also, it took him a little while to sit up straight. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. you got to work on your posture. We'll send you to Bear Academy, all right? There you go. Do you want to put it over next door right now, or where does it go? Or do we just put two of them downstairs in the room, and then they can share? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, this is the last thing I'm going to open today. We're going to do rest of mailbag tomorrow. Okay. So we'll figure it out. Um, thank you to everybody for everything. DJ, thank you so much for the second, uh, the replacement bear bed. I do know, I can say, the first one went through the wash just great the first time, uh, but I can imagine that it's, it's going to, uh, you know, just like everything here, it gets washed until it gets washed up, uh, washed out, uh, like me. So... I see, yeah, so there has been some contention for the bear bed. It's been so popular down there, uh, until someone peed in it anyway. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah. Well, with that uh, out of the way then, uh, thank you so much, DJ, by the way. It's very thoughtful of you. I'm sure you did notice that that, that bear bed has been so popular and also... I got to tell you, I've been thinking about sending that bear bed as the, you know, the familiar item. I was mentioning earlier, I like to send something that's familiar with each of the cats when they, they graduate. So they have that scent and, 
uh, you know, can settle into their new home a little bit better. And I've been thinking the bear badge probably should go with Cal. Uh, I haven't seen her or anybody else in it recently, probably because it got peed in. <laughs> Maybe I should put it through the wash a second time. Anyway, uh, I've been thinking I wanted to send it with Cal because she's enjoyed it quite a bit. And uh, it seems like the right thing to send with her. So it's nice that we've got another one to sort of keep the tradition going after that. Uh, wonderful. Got lap kitties. They're learning to be lap kittens already. Even Cuddles Group is starting to get really good at being lap kittens, where I go in the room and they all want to kind of jump up and see me and they climb all over me in my lap, and that's good news too. So, great bunch of kittens and mom cats that we've got in here at the Academy right now, including Cal and her uh, two remaining timey wimeys that still need the doctors. Uh, that's Monday and Holiday, and they're both a lot of fun in their own ways. So, all right, enough trying to sell kittens. I, uh, I got to get this stuff packed up for now. I'll move these boxes out of here. Maybe Custer can keep an eye on them next door until tomorrow at 11 o'clock, all right? You two are going to have to go sit in this creepy mouse for a while while I go clean everything up. I know, say it here. Oh, I heard that. Oh, oh, hang on. We're exploding. We're exploding. Where's the whites? Ah, ah. Oh, that was an audible explosion. Whew. Mom smelled it, too. Yeah, all right, buddy. Here, here, go ahead. Get it out. You got it. You got it. You don't have to stop. We got this. I know. Mom wants to help. Look at her. She just gets right in there. She's like, no, no, I got this. I got this. Don't worry, Ma. Here, I can help. We should put him in the litter box for this so he gets, she gets that lesson. But uh, one thing at a time here. Okay, there we go. You got it? Is that everything? Hmm. Okay, okay. Very distinctive smell here. I think um, I'm probably, when I go on Monday, I'm planning on asking the vet about uh, sort of like a first dewormer for all these kids, too, and maybe some... Uh, I've been giving them probiotics in the food already, but most of them aren't eating the food yet, so that doesn't help very much. Um, this guy, though, he does eat the food, so maybe it's going to help her, her. I keep calling you a boy, and you're not a boy. I know you're not a boy. You're a girl. A very cute little girl. Okay. All right. Well, hey, let's get this stuff put away. I'm going to turn off my mic right now so I don't forget. We'll go back to the regular mic, and uh, I will put this stuff away. And thank you very much for joining me. And where am I going? Okay, I think that covers that. I think you should have me on the regular mic now. Um, and I'm actually going to end my recording here because it doesn't really even matter these days, does it? Uh, there we go. That way I don't forget. I love that it doesn't matter, by the way. Oh, I don't think I had my mic off correctly, but that doesn't matter either. All right. So much yelling. Oh, my goodness. What does it mean? Why? Why the yelling?
that. We saved the letter for tomorrow, too. Stuck in between these pack boxes, so. I can always like when there's a letter. Hey, Polly, you don't need to come in here. I know. Monday always complains when I pick him up, always, ever since he was a kitten, and still. It's funny because he's such a big snuggler, but when you pick him up, he's like, ah, ah what's happening? To this day. All right. Good job on your first mailbag, kids. You all did wonderfully. Exactly how we like for a mailbag to go. Kitten's in my lap, kitten's playing, kitten's pooping. Speaking of kitten's pooping, there's a lot of litter up here. Right, we're going to have to clean this room in a little bit, too. I hear you, I hear you.
your kids are taking a break from pooping all over. You should take a nap. mailbag everybody so thank you again for joining us for that and we'll see you tomorrow at 11 if we can and if we can't that's okay too i'm sure that it will be uploaded very quickly thanks to everybody for that